in the corner. At age 19, he enters the ring with a record of 2 and 2. He stands 5 feet and 10 inches tall and weighing in at 65 kilograms. A UBC novice champion, proudly representing the Farm Boxing Gym, Josh Thomas! Sounds like he's uh, sold a few tickets anyway. Fighting on the red corner. At age 18, he entered the ring with a record of three victories and only one defeat. He stands at six feet tall and weighing in at 65 kilograms. Proudly representing EMA. Ryan Gizzy. Again, Ryan sounds like he sold a few tickets as well. The crowd's up for this one. Ryan looks a slightly bigger of the two fighters. He looks like he's got a bit more muscle on him. He looks like slightly the bigger man he does. Yeah. What would you like to see from both fighters in this? I've seen Ryan a couple of times. I think he'll come out to box. I've not seen Josh before. I think Josh needs to uh, put uh, have a good high work rate and put a bit of pressure on Ryan. Make it a bit uncomfortable in there. I think if you give Ryan a bit of time and a bit of space, I think that's where you see the best of him. So I think he needs to smother his work and uh, make it messy in there. Slip nice there. If he gets in on the inside there, that's where he needs to let his hands go. Yeah. Oh, good shots there by Ryan. Quick hands by Ryan. Nice fast hands. But the slower the pace, the more it suits Ryan, I believe. I'd, yeah, I'd agree with that. If he can slow it down and make a nice technical fight. Like I say, Josh there, let his hands go, work. Stay nice and compact. Ryan tucked up nice, tucked them to the arms, to the shoulders, and come back with a few shots of his own. Looks very composed in there, Ryan, tonight. Looks very focused as well, got a... He's looking Ooh. for that lead left hook. Josh needs to stay nice and tight here. It's good front hand work here by Ryan Gizzix. That lead, absolutely, that lead left hook is very effective. Just a bit off the mark on that, and a little bit slow for in that one, but... That definitely seems to be his game plan's work off the jab and that lead hook. Nice. Good combination there by Ryan Gizzy. Let his hands go there. Josh needs to get a bit busy now. Let his hands go a little bit. He's walking him down, which is the right tactics, but he needs to do something when he's there. Ryan fancies this now. You can see he fancies it. Good defence by Josh, though. He's not letting too many land clean, but... Like I said earlier, he's a Craig Winter fighter and they're all very, very technically compact. Craig has his fight is very nice and tight defensively and you can see that again here. We saw it with Nick earlier and we're seeing it again now with Josh. Not much is getting through, but Ryan's looking sharp. I think it must be getting through slightly. His face is starting to redden on that right-hand side from those, those hooks. Ryan switching briefly to southpaw there. It's very smooth switch as well. He just switched on his back foot, so... Oh, good hook at the end, then that seemed to catch him. Better from Josh. Oh, good shot there. Again, the left hook. Again, going back to Ryan just being the bigger fighter, he's doing a good job with his power using his size. Josh doesn't seem to have the power that Ryan has to back him up as well. No, and you know, he's taking the shots well though. You know, he's, he's took a few clean left hooks and he's still there, still focused. I think this would benefit Josh, just keeping Ryan against the ropes, against the corner, stifling his work, making it hard for him to really get much shots off. I agree, Steve. I think the more time he gives Ryan, the more comfortable and the more uh, effective Ryan is. It's going to be harder for Ryan to work off his hook in that corner. We, I say that, and he throws a beautiful hook as he spins out the corner. Josh needs to be aware of this left hook now. It seems to be coming quite uh, consistently. He needs to get onto it, he needs to uh, maybe step off to Ryan's right hand side. There we go. And throw a few to the body, just like that. That's the sort of work rate he needs to be doing. Oh, good shot there, by Josh. I'd like to see Ram disguise that left hook a bit more. He's becoming a bit too automatic with it. Not really. If he hid it behind, say a straight right and then threw it to maybe cover it up a bit more. But that's it. Like he's just relying on it a bit too much, maybe. That's it. Like I said earlier, maybe bring it off the jab, yeah. touch the head, touch the body, and then whip it in. I think. Uh, although he's having, a, you know, he's, he's effective with it and he's, he's having success it. with it. So you know, he's going to consistently throw it. But Josh is looking for that body shot now. Is it slowing Ryan down? I don't know. 
he's having a better round, Josh. Yeah, definitely a better round. He's picked up a bit of confidence. He's throwing more punches. This is where he needs to be putting the pressure on Ryan. Where Ryan's taking a little step back, having a look, and it's tucking up, throwing that left up. That's what he's doing. They're having a little chat now. There you go. Good round. Good round. Consistent. Yeah, pressure over precision, isn't yes, it? Yeah, that's it. I've enjoyed it. It's been a good fight. But that left hook again. That again. That is the fight that is, uh, that is the shot that has uh, saved Ryan well. Yeah. They've told Ryan nice. to go after him here. Yeah, Ryan's got a bit more. He's got a bit between his teeth here. But it's like when you know it's a close fight, you need to make the last round a bit of a statement, don't you? So. Yeah, I, I think Ryan won the first round, possibly in the second. Maybe this is just to put that rubber stamp on it. But Josh is there in his game, and he's a good kid, and he's coming forward nice and tight and compact. He's not getting hit with anything too clean. He's a tough lad. He's there. Look, he's still pushing the fight. He's still pushing the pace. Brilliant. It's just like you said before, he just needs a bit more behind his movement. Yeah, he can't you know. just come forward to fight. He's got to... All the shots he's throwing, Rand's pretty much blocking. I don't think Josh has really landed much of a clean shot. No, that's it. They've all been to the arms or... He's threw a few nice uh, rights to the body, which I think slowed Ryan down. But again, he's going for that side and Ryan's coming back with that left hook. Ryan might have tired himself out at the start of this round with those big flurry. He seems to slow down considerably since the start of the round. He started very fast. Yeah. And uh, Josh is still there. Someone needs to win this round. Someone needs a big 30 seconds. I've been impressed with both boys here. It's two very, great. two very different styles, but yeah. equally a very high work rate, which is... I'm impressed with the heart of Josh to consistently keep coming forward. And he's nice and compact. There he is. There he is, having a little chat. And Ryan's been very crisp tonight, very sharp tonight. I've been impressed with him too. Good fight for both boys here. Yeah, great fight. Well done, lads. Good finish as well. I think they both know that was a tough fight. So I think they both know they're in a fight. Time for the decision. Josh having a little dance. Yeah. There can be only one winner. And the judges have reached a unanimous decision. Unanimous. In the red yeah, you go. Josh not happy about that decision. Um, I don't think it was unfair. It was a close fight, but I think it was. No, like we said, I think the uh, crisp, sharp work maybe caught the eyes of the judges. Good fight. Good fight.